Whoa! Jesus. Hello, D'Artagnan. Are you going Hello. to be doing some Three Musketeering? Is that... What, what, what? Hello, my uh, love. It's so, it's so cute. You're trying come, so hard. I've come to mark my, my uh, symbol of Zorro on your backside. Uh -huh. with, no, with no, my, that's with my no, penis. No. It's too big. It's too big for Zorro. Zorro yes, is like a it's pencil. It's too big. It's a pencil mustache. No, I know. I know what he has. Yeah, what no, that's a, that's a D'Artagnan. This is that's this is that's a D'Artagnan. Or maybe maybe no, actually no. It's a, it's not a it's not a D'Artagnan. It's a Stavros. It's, it's Stavros. like the guy. It's the guy you knew in 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 high school. who was like seventeen. <laughs> It just got his own car and was really, tr really trying really hard to grow his uh, his little mustache. And those are the only his beard, but that was the only bit that would grow. I I was walking around the Danforth area today, and uh, five guys stopped me because they thought that I was their cousin. <laughs> and they uh, and, and they then they, they got well, they got closer. They were like, uh, yeah, that's not him. So uh, did did uh, have you have you offered anyone a mustache ride? A uh, mustache ride, saying? five oh, drachmas. This isn't. This this is uh, this is kind of a, a kind of a jerky thing to admit, but we went to a restaurant called the Melting Pot uh, last night, and they had this deal where if uh, Lenny and I went to the Melting Pot, it was for a birthday of friends of hers, and her friend said, "Hey, if uh, if the guys have a Movember mustache." Uh, you get a free fondue, like chocolate fondue dessert, and so, so I shave. I shave, thinking, okay, well, I'll, I'll leave it on, and then when I get home, I'll just, you know, I'll just, uh, <laughs> just shave it. So wait, wait, head. you've got you grew a Stavros so that yeah. you could pretend you were growing a mustache to raise money for charity in order to, to get a free dessert, just for a free dessert, and then we get there. And then the waiter's like, "Oh, that's not that's la that's next weekend. It's not even today." So we did uh, it for nothing. All the guys had mustaches, so I wasn't the only one. I wasn't the only asshole. All these other guys, like you know, didn't shave their mustaches. They went in thinking we we're gonna get a free dessert, and so this place forty three dollars per person for fondue. What the fuck? <laughs> we spent yeah, like they can afford to give you a free dessert. I know forty three fucking dollars. A hundred and one hundred and twenty-five dollars with tip. Tip already added on. Is the, the fondue made out of gold? Eighteen percent tip. Do the wait staff give you blowjobs while you eat? What, what's the no? What the I fuck. Think, I think what they do is they take the unused oil and they just drop it on your genitals uh, as you're leaving. And uh, I ran out of there. I ran out of the bathroom window before I could pay. So. <laughs> It's insane, and then uh, and with then that the mustache, like, you look like the kind of guy who would be crawling through a bathroom window. But you know, I'm thinking more going in to a lady's house. <laughs> Hello, I am here to clean your pipes. <laughs> would you like to try my feta? I have some in my mustache. Let me put it in your salad as I toss it. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah, so. So anyway, I think I'm gonna keep it because I, I still have it today. I don't know if you noticed, but I still have it. I don't think you should keep it. <laughs> I think you, you look don't... like a fucking asshole. You what know what? You talking about? It's just a style now, man. I've got my new glasses. I ordered my new glasses. I'm totally hipster next week. All First right, you I'm... know what? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking slap that mustache off your face. I I'd like to see you try. Here I come. You bastard! <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on with you? Well, uh, so I just found out uh, the uh, the little the little woman is um, is um, we've got a bun in the oven. Get the hell! Are you serious? Yeah. Dude, are you crazy saying that in front of Mother Computer? Really? Do you think she do you think she gives a shit anymore? Probably not, but well, it's going wow. to come out at some point. I don't want to. I don't want to at the. I, I, I want to be able to like write <laughs> about like, it. And yeah, I want to be able to post about it. And it. Eventually, when you hear a baby screaming in the fucking background, it's going to be kind of obvious. Wow, dude. So, haven't I told you to double bag it just in case? Yeah, well, you can double bag it. I I like. I prefer that my dick doesn't feel like a hockey puck. <laughs> just a just a preference. 
Well, dude, uh, congratulations. That's pretty awesome news. Yeah, I guess. Your life, your life is over. <laughs> it's kind of like a death sentence, yeah. So I guess, I guess our torrenting business is is dead now. We got to save all that money up for yeah, well, diapers. <laughs> yeah, when you when you actually have other people to worry about, you gotta. I I just don't, I don't want to get Kim Kim dot com, you know. Yeah, that guy tried again. Uh, and apparently they just shut him down immediately. I just read a headline somewhere. I didn't even. Oh, did they? It. Okay. Yeah. You know, what, he, what he was going to do is he wanted to set up another service that mm-hmm. um, that encrypted the data and point to point, so that only the people on the on the ends had access to the data, and it was just gobbledygook in the middle. So the idea being that even if the service got seized, you wouldn't be able to basically mega up or the new one mega wouldn't know the service wouldn't know what was on there only okay. the users would but i don't think they can i that's amazing to me they can shut them down for that that's like store that's like saying okay we, we're going to shut down your your storage shed business because somebody could put meth in one of them mm-hmm. yeah it's it's amazing things you couldn't like yeah, it's really the funny they want to enforce the, they want to enforce the rules of the physical world like in terms of stealing and stuff like that on the digital world but then they want to enforce like special rules that would never apply in physical space to digital space. Yeah. But look, I've gotten a lot more paranoid. I um so uh you know it's always been you could always get caught for uploading here. Like if you got caught actually being the person who started a seed, you could get you could you could get up to think to five or ten years in prison. In oh, really? Japan. Wow. Yeah, they it's a criminal charge, not just a civil charge. Okay. And uh and like and they caught some people in January. And it was weird because the people they went after, it's like, like the the people who had uploaded the most stuff. It was like four pieces of software, six songs in a video, like almost nothing. They wow. went after them and they threw them like a, like a truck driver, a taxi driver, and a... mm-hmm. but recently in the the law in August, October first just went into effect that now you can get uh, thrown in jail for downloading. For downloading as well. Okay. Yeah. So, so they've, they've really. Um... They really crack down on on downloaders now in Japan. Yeah, and it's also a thing like the police can, if the police search your house because they suspect you of something else, this is something they can find and put you in prison for. Even oh no if they way! They can't prove the thing. So, they, yeah. yeah, like if they come and they find your binder full of of DVDs. Now, the thing is, it seems to be specifically about downloading. So I think they'd still have to prove you downloaded it from somewhere. But the thing is, Japanese courts are not known for being, um, how shall I put it? Uh, hair splitters with the law it's basically with most judges have like a 90 something percent conviction rate uh and most people well because most people play most people plead guilty because you get a lot less time if you plead guilty okay the conviction rates are really high right so if you don't plead guilty you've got a really big chance of being found guilty anyway and if you haven't pled guilty you'll get say 14 years versus like 14 months sure okay so it's pretty better better so anyway i've gotten a little paranoid Mm -hmm. and I'm, i'm running a vpn now are you? So yeah. yeah, I'm running a VPN. So I'm like everything, and uh, everything's going through Romania. <laughs> Romania. Um, my my speeds are like one tenth of what they were, but I think the peace of mind mm-hmm. is uh, is worth it. Yeah. Um, because and the great thing is, it's like you know, it's one. I don't have a I, the IP address isn't kept by me. The logs that the VPN keeps, they keep them only for three days, and it's only timestamps. Only time steps. Okay, good. Yeah. So not and they only keep it for th- three days, and they're not based in Japan, right? So yep. by the time any organization gets around to going to wherever they're based, whether it's Switzerland or maybe they're actually based in Romania, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Basically, getting around, contacting the people to get the police there to go, and those countries have like really safe, good safe harbor provisions. Yeah. Um, by the time they do that, there are no logs anymore. Oh, okay, good. It's gonna take them more than three days to do that. Awesome. So. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to sit here smug and saying I'm safe. <laughs> They'll probably find some other way of, of, of finding dudes like me. But um, yeah, I mean, they may have caught me weeks ago, right? And they just haven't gotten around to, to finding me yet. Sure. Right. That's like possible. they they could have got my IP address off something and then traced it back. And mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not, not like case. it's not like the U.S. where I could feel reasonably secure that they would have to actually prove something. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? If like, I fought it, I could win. Here, it's like I'm reasonably sure I get thrown in prison. Wow. You know the big the big bully bull is banging at the door. And... What do you think? Uh, what do you think Japanese prisons are like? 
They're not nice. No. Put it put it this way, Amnesty International has a has a boner for uh <laughs> for Japanese prisons. For Japanese prisons. The way how they uh, they treat their uh they don't treat yeah. I prisoners. mean basically it's a it's a it's um it's a cultural thing where it's like if you're a criminal you're kind of like a subhuman. Mm -hmm. Uh and they do stuff like they the police have been known to I mean once once you're in prison they've been known to do things like put you in if you're if they if they think you're being rude or uncooperative they can they they can put you in a submission position wow for and they'll do it for days at a time so you'll be you'll be sort of hogtied basically mm -hmm. you'll have to eat your food sort of with your face because your your hands won't be available and people have died from this because it puts pressure on the chest mm -hmm. um and that's why what's well, one of the reasons amnesty international is after them i was thinking more of like other prisoners you know i was thinking shawshank redemption uh, being the well, you know, the cops in that movie were kind of assholes too, but the uh, but yeah, I know, I think I know what you mean. It's it's sort of like a uh, you know, I'm the cat, you're the mouse, and I'm gonna just do this with you, yeah, until you had enough, yeah. Also, I mean, the food is pretty terrible, yeah, uh, like it's, it's like rice and fish kind of thing, so mm, that's a pretty good diet. Yeah, if you want to get pale, pasty, and out of shape, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, seriously, how many of those Japanese guards do you think are taller than you? You're a pretty tall guy. You could probably take them. Yeah, not six of them at once. <laughs> I doubt they play fair. Yeah. So. But, anyway. Yeah, no, so the VPN thing was kind of cool because I had a... I had Where'd a you find it? Up. Uh, it's called VPN Book. VPN Book? Okay. VPNbook.com. It's free. And that's one of the reasons I'm tolerating the slow speed. Oh, it's free. It's too, free, though. and they support peer-to-peer. -peer. Nice. And they have a PP, PPTP version, and then they also have a open VPN version, which is mm -hmm. what I'm using, because it's it's safer. Because yeah. Windows can still give away your IP address over uh, PPTP. Are you using a Windows box? You're not winning, uh, using Windows, are you? Uh, no, no. The 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 basically the file box is a is a Linux box. It's Linux box, okay, yeah. Yeah, but there, I think there. But you're not running about... Windows at all at home, right? What's that? You're no, not... I have to. I have to on this on this box. Oh, you do? Yeah. No, I got Windows Seven. I'm running Windows Seven. Okay. Because. Uh, yeah. I need, I need a box. I need a box for the man to find. Open VM pro. I can VPN I can pretend I'm dumber supported. if they find a Windows box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Windows just did it for me. Da, 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 da. I could get a Mac. I could get a Mac, but I I don't mind them thinking I'm stupid. I just don't want them thinking I'm retarded. Right. That's um, the last thing you want. Yeah. On second thought, maybe I should get a Mac. The ignorance defense becomes easier. I don't know how to use a Mac. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, 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 I. Please, please use that accent as well when you're, when you're talking to them, so they don't think you're provoking them in any way. How how would that be provoking them? Like, uh, it sounded it sounded very like almost like a nineteen eighties comedian making fun of an Asian person. Yeah, I know. Like, I mean, you're right. It did. It did. Okay. But that's just kind Not of because I I do that because it sounds stupid. Yeah. No, I know. I know what you were doing, but it's just. I never heard this person talk like that. Yeah, there never. There I've only heard stupid people making fun of Asian people talk like that. Some are cousins. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. Oh my uh, god! So you got a I, bun do, in do, the oven? do you remember what George? Um, not not George. Um, what's his fucking name? There's too many cousins. I can't remember their goddamn names. Um, Who Dos X? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he says, "Fucker." What's That's he right. said to me when I first got back from Japan? He's like, "So do you speak Japanese yet? You know, Ching Chong, Poo Plong, yeah. Ching Ching Chong." I'm like, "I don't, I don't know what, what it is." For, That's not any fucking that. language. Ching Chong like, Ling seems to be like the the most popular way. Whenever, oh, whenever anybody Ching in our family, Ling. I'm like, okay, yeah. first of all, wrong fucking country. Second of all, nobody talks like. Have you ever like you live in Toronto? You've heard people speak fucking Chinese. You've heard people people speak Cantonese, Mandarin. I, I can understand. It doesn't even fucking sound like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't. I know. I mean, if you're gonna make an imitation of the language, it like. Like wow! I mean, what are you watching, Mr. Magoo cartoons from 1950? Greek, Greek people, I think, are just born with the racism uh, gene. 
and and it's and it's and it's and it's there in the background and wait it's kind of like it's like the mutant gene it's waiting to be it's waiting to spring into action every time yeah. every time they hear like an older person you know say something it just sort of sticks and then they have to make fun of people i don't know it's yeah, not it's, just greek people i'm just or, saying or or when magneto attacks yes magneto or when an older person makes a racist comment yeah so I, I don't. I, yeah. I I'm not. I'm not. Per, I'm not 100 non-racist. I don't like to think that I'm racist, but you know, I've made jokes, you know, in passing with Eleni about, you know, because racism could be about your own uh, your own culture too. It. I I don't believe in this whole. Oh, I'm I'm Greek, so therefore I could make Greek jokes. Oh, really? Or, I or I'm black, and I I can make black jokes, or I'm Chinese, and no. It's still racism, because because now you're you're using that just just for comedy's sake. Yeah, no, and, exactly. And, and, I think and, I think there's I think there's a power to to embracing yeah your own culture's racial stereotypes to say it's like you think I don't know about this mm -hmm. or uh, it's like oh you think we're like this well actually <laughs> yeah you've got it wrong right and that's, it's that's okay I, mean. I make yeah. love. <laughs> uh Andrew uh, Martin. Vegetarianism. Who knew? You hear that? What's that? Some asshats banging at my door. It's probably a fucking neighbor. Let me just go see what's going on. Fuck. Right, okay, I'm coming. Jesus. We uh we're kind of in the middle of the podcast. Do you think your girlfriend could probably go and check it out? Dude. Uh. Dude, what's going on? Hello. Manson. <laughs> 